Hello everyone, I'm your host, Spa Zombie. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And this wonderful Atlantis DLC. This place is so big! There's also a quest right next to me. Oh, you weren't there. Most adamantly. Elpis? Wait. Quick, follow me. Trust the stranger. I'm no stranger. I'm Elpis. And I've been watching you. Okay. Not ominous at all. <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger. I've been training to become like you. But training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred the Isu in Atlantis. The Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this. Your spear. Mm-hmm. Showing off for me, are you? Just a little. <laughs> are you impressed? Oh god, I forgot the whole flirting thing. Alright. She's sure. single. She can do it. Why not? For a thief. Flattering. But we have business to attend to, the Estes. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship Ooh. public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait, you're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry, and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy, and ease the tension between the two groups. But so long as I am merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you. Uh, do you want a blood transfusion? I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Passionate about Atlantean politics. Atlas doesn't approach the human and issue conflict with compassion for humanity. I believe I can bring that compassion. Elpis is an actual, like, Greek god, isn't it? Elpis. What was... Whoa, Elpis. What was Elpis? Um... I don't remember. I know it was in Borderlands. It's the moon, but... It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metal Lens, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. He doesn't know about this? I'll tell him the truth when the time is right. You're not just stringing me along and deceiving me. That happens too often in this series. Oh, I thought I accepted that quest. Uh, this one. Okay. Knowledge sequence one is required to access the adamant. Interesting. Do I have one? I think I don't. Nope. My Isu knowledge is not quite up there yet. Come back for you later, then. This may end up being a DLC that I do need to explore everything first before I can progress. Which would make me like it even more. But let's just see what we can do for now. I'm so glowy. Um, so where in relation to existence is Atlantis? Like, is it in Greece somewhere? 
Is it in another world? I mean, this is in the past. Because this is a simulation of the events that happened here, but still. I mean... Okay, someday I'll be able to climb this. No, oh, this is a normal human. It's like a... It's almost like a like 20 to 1 ratio of Isu to humans you'll see walking around. Um, does this place have a day-night cycle, or did it just get dark here? I guess day-night. Let's see. Oh, yep, I can sit and wait and turn it to day. No, wait, now it's night. Now it's day. There we go. Cool. Hello, sir. Oh, it has to be a specific time of day for this. Nope, had to be night. Never mind. All that for nothing. Ah, the Castillo. I heard you yeah, please. Of that solar flower regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neil Cleek, an Imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. Do flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no. You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? I don't know anyone named Minerva. Her students are so small-minded about my photosynthesis accelerator. If you want to be a scholar, why follow such a rudimentary diet? Yeah. Do you need something from me? Oh, apologies, Dicasti. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overtook them, and now the air suffers. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis. A theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the gardens of Tritus. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces will stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes. And the Castille, taking care of our natural resources, will send a message to all of Atlantis. Uh -huh. A good message, I hope. Towards the obelisk. This isn't gonna just like make it explode. Okay, so there's one there. All the light beams need to hit that central structure. There's three, it looks like. Also, it's a little unclear, but you can climb some of these blue materials, just not all of them. Well, I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Maybe I can climb this side. Come on, up to Dozy. That must be the device my prince mentioned. See, like when it's like this and it has that kind of tarnish to it, I can climb that. seem to have done much. Oh! What now? This is kind of a neat puzzle. See, this is... I like this. It's more puzzles than just kill every person you find. Um, now it's going this way. I feel like I did a Breath of the Wild puzzle like this one time. Hey, we got one. Ooh. 
fancy. So are we gonna meet Minerva here? Are we gonna meet like all the Isu here? Are we gonna even meet Zeus? Wait, I just realized all this running around I haven't seen actual resources like rocks or wood. Hmm. They like they're blue here. There's no denying that. Oh see like I can climb this. Should have made it another color than blue because there's types of blue that you cannot climb. So we've got this one here and the other one's over there. Over there. Okay. So this one should move like this. Now this guy. Huh, how does this oh Gonna have to move. Something's in the way. Like this. Like that. There's no, I'm not risking it glitching out or something. That's going that way, bouncing that way. This is fun. That's another one. Oh wait, does that mean there's no insight? If there's no insight it means I can't upgrade any of my skills. Hmm. Or maybe there's another catch to it. I keep thinking of all these different catches. It's this DLC is so different and nice. I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. Hmm, so those other weapons as tough as the spear. That's cool. Okay, so we're going through here. I think we should probably push this. Oh, this has a mirror on it, though. I might need this. This also has a mirror. Oi, this is going to be a whole thing. Let's move this guy. This way. This one. This is like the mirror puzzle f to get into Atlantis, actually. That you have to do on the island. So that's going there. That boy's ricocheting to who knows where now. Can I not go sideways with this? Oh. Where's it gonna reflect if I make it bounce this way? Oh, maybe I don't need it to reflect. that go oh there we go I don't need it to do anything else maybe there's a secret no doesn't look like it okay the crystal has its light and power and all that what did that do
Is this gonna even work? Is this gonna do something bad? Too much power. Doesn't seem good. What happened? We overburdened the system. Oops. I moved your light beams. But then the beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Oh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the garden and present with enhanced photons. Not the photons. Oh no, something's wrong with the photons? Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. Never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh. Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. Okay. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... <sighs> it's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'm <I'll laughs> <see> igneous <laughs> matter. <laughs> Solar breastplate. I'm guessing that's the control room right there. The birds and the bees? What? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, so it's kind of like in Hades where it tells you if you need a specific door. Oh, that's actually really cool. I like that. That's actually really, really cool. Because then you know not to even bother exploring a place if you're not going to be able to do it all in one shot. Hey, is there anything to increase my Isu knowledge or whatever? Looks like my piece was right. There is no rock here. Miss? Hey! Stop right there! Get back here! Is there anything to check on while I'm looking? I'll just keep pulsing. Is this gonna be, um... What was her name? Who was it? Minerva? Okay, there's nothing here. I can stop with the pulses. Oh, that was a hidden objective, huh? Something must be in here somewhere. Maybe if I know something's around. Hmm. Good first guess. Pat myself on the back. What's the doing running around here? Milita. Chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Melkis's rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Melkis has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dikastis and you have no idea what the power source is? 
Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Take the rock in Neocles' device, and we'll fix the flowers. Of course it's not so simple. Why would it be? Did I hear like animal squeaks? This isn't Neoclesis first attempt at population balance. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neoclis needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You didn't make that quote. Except your hypothesis has failed. Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Vika cease, it should be your decision. Uh Well, the problem the problem is his solution is a temporary one. And it's like she was saying it's going to cause another problem afterwards, and then he'll try to fix that, which will cause another problem. Uh All right. Give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability! Trust in Yale. Nature will heal itself if you allow it. Thank you, Vikastis. This is the right direction to go in. We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves. This is, yeah, that's the proper way to do it. Long term, not short term. Weird that I got involved with this. What did this have to do with birds and or bees? Wait, what is this icon? Uh, this thing. Repository of Iris. Oh. How do I get there? Am I in the Repository of Iris? I might be inside the Repository of Iris. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Is there any way to, like, look around here real quick, like... Doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay, I can always come back here if it's not the case. Of Iris, huh? An Egyptian god. A little different. love an entire game like this. I keep saying that, but it would be so cool. It would be such a nice departure. Oh, okay. We're just done. Oh, that wasn't the repository of Iris. Hey, okay, level up again. Wow. Okay. That's a repository. I'll have to keep that in mind. So I can't do that yet. I guess let's just keep... Hmm. The waypoint, or the fast travel points are kind of weirdly spaced out. The one who holds the staff has no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I hear you, Elise. You may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable. Oh, that's going to be a, an ongoing thing as well, I guess.
Come on, just keep climbing. I like this place so much. It's so fun to explore. Okay, well, I guess this is taking a long time to get back up. I will make my way over to that uh, fast travel point, sink it, and we'll be ready to go in the next episode. So, oh, let's jump over here. Thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.